Hi Samesh. Hi. How are you doing? Fine. Okay. So quickly introduce yourself. First of all, thank you for giving this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Somesh. I am from Chennai. Currently studying in Hyderabad. I completed my graduation in mechanical engineering in the year 2022 from Rajiv Institute of Technology. I have also completed my diploma in mechanical engineering from NSLIT College in the year 2019. I had a I had a skills of skill set of HTML, Python, Java, PHP, and Excel. Coming to questions, I have a self-motivated and hardworking person. And coming to my hobbies, uh, I am a photographer and also a web designer person. Oh. Oh. So, he has respired uh, HTML, right? Yes, sir. So, we'll uh, start the technical with HTML. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, what is HTML first? HTML is a hypertext markup with language. It is a standard language which is used to uh, is used to highlight the web text and also interactively and dynamically and it is a worldwide web page used for worldwide, worldwide web page formatting okay. Okay. okay so and then uh, what are meant by tags in HTML? A tags are nothing but which are designed to display the text in a in super format such as tags are like different types, there are 10 types. First one is bold tag, bold, which is used to, to highlight the highlight the text or type of the the, the what we give in a paragraph and also italic which is used to uh, describe in italic way and em tag, em tag which is used to emphasize the importance of the topic which is used to highlight it in italic format and also um, BR tag which is used to break the paragraph in between which is by the first paragraph and second paragraph and also some other tags like uh, mark tag which is used to highlight the important points in the paragraph and also and a tag is about um, uh, UL tag, under list tag yeah. which is used to un underline which is used to describe the words in a bullet format so, all tags are uh, having opening tag and closing tag, means yes, all elements in the yeah. HTML. All elements in HTML have the same format as opening tag and closing tag. The, closing, the opening tag, which is... No. Some of the elements are there without yeah. the closing tag also. Do you know any of them? Any of them? Area. Mm -hmm. Like you said, BR, yeah. BR, BR, HR. BR, HR. And, uh, area, image, ah, yes. image, image, so, yes. not all elements are having mm -hmm. opening, opening and some are tags. having only opening. Mm -hmm. So, can you describe the basic structure of the HTML? Yes, sir. Firstly, in, in starting, we have to write a doc type. After that, opening the HTML tag, mm -hmm. uh, and that we used to open the head, head tag, then body tag. After that, closing the body tag and then closing the head tag after that closing the html tag closing html tag okay basically in html you will be having head and head the part. body what is the use of head head element head element sir. head element which is used which is used to consist of html documents html documents and it is a uh, it also consists of a metadata Okay, metadata mm -hmm. Right Okay, and then uh, How many heading elements are there in HTML? Heading elements, there are six types of heading elements mm, First one is H1 H1 which is the most important tag And it is the largest tag in heading tag And H2 is a And H6 is the least tag Least important tag in the heading tag sir. And H1 to H6 they are consist of a different sizes according to the tag numbers. Okay, good Samesh. Um, and how to create tables in HTML? To create a table, we used to use HTML tag as table. HTML tag table which, you, which are defined in the form of row into table, row into columns. Okay, the tables are of four. They have different types of tag. First one is PR tag. 
TR means uh, table row. We use it to define the rows in the table and TH which are the uh, defining the headers in the table and TD tag which are used to define the cells in the table and call group which are used to define which are used to collect the group of one or more group of columns in a particular in a group of columns in a HTML tag in a in the table and call column is another tag which is also used combined with the column group to 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 display the text in to display the cells in the table and also t head which is used to that it is also called as the header tag in the table and t t what's that? t footer yeah t footer which consists of a group of uh, footer in the table and t head it is a group of okay. headers in the table okay. so how can you keep borders to the table with the form of B tag, border tag which we use. Border property. No, How to create hyperlinks in HTML? The hyperlinks are created in HTML in the form of anchor tag with the help of anchor tag. Anchor tag are used to create a hyperlinks from which connects one, one page to another page in the web page. And the most important tag the attribute to HRF is most important attribute. H2. HSF, which is the most important attribute in, to upload to the anchor tag to display the web page. Okay. Which value will assign to HF? HRF, sir. HRF, first we used to give a anchor tag after the HRF. In URL and text will be implemented in the text. Okay. So, does this uh, hyperlinks uh, can be created with the only text or is there any other possibilities? You know, we can use hyperlinks for using for text and images also we can use. Okay. Yes. Okay. And the next question is, uh, how to create nested web page in HTML? Nested web pages are created with the, in, with the help of iframe tag, which is used to create web page in, in, another, in, in the web page. And iframe is an inline, inline framework. So can you adjust the size there? Yes, sir. You can adjust because it can, according to the web page, the uh, uh, length of it, you can adjust it. Okay, wait for and hide. Uh -huh. And then, uh, how to create buttons in HTML? So button elements are mainly used in HTML file, And the buttons are mainly used in web pages which are helped to click, click to perform a certain action with the form of a click in the web pages and the main attribute is used for the button element R on click attribute is mainly used to perform a um, button with the help of a javascript the button on click will be performed a certain we have given in the external text and there are different types of buttons like radio button, button, submit and etc we in, in our daily life you can see the buttons in our daily life for example IRTC website after registration we, we, we should click a submit button in job application we should give uh, radio buttons we have mainly seen for genders and and to specify our stream in the particular in the particular graduate uh, okay, what are the common lists that we use in HTML the common list that we use in HTML are order list and order list. Order list uh, are a type of mark in the form of bullet format and another list uh, another list order list means thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, so another list another list in the form, mark in the um, bullet format and order list which are marked in the number format like one two three and in the form, the starting tag should be oh, uh, order list for starting tag OL oh yeah. and in between the list for list tag will be be used for the to specify the elements after that we should close the order, uh, order list tag so we will use L -like L -like in this case. so can you uh, change the start number in the order list 
2000 to start now. I want to start with from different numbers. You have from one. So I want to start from six. Can you change that? Yes, so we can change with the by by using a number in the numbers. Yeah, which attribute? Mm -hmm. I think you start attribute you can use. That is start. You want so start equal to can specify and start order. So from that number, you want to start from that. So what is the difference between ID attribute and the class attribute of an element? ID a class and class attribute. ID attribute it consists of uh, one element which cannot be associated with another element. While coming to the class attribute, multiple level multiple levels of element can be assessed to the same class value. Okay. So and uh, what are the ways to include CSS in HTML? The inclusion of CSS in HTML there are three ways. First one is inline, and second one is internet internet. Third one is HTML. How you uh, include external CSS in HTML? By using the link in the head. Okay. By using the head. Yeah. You can link in the head. Okay. Okay, so much. That's it from my side. Yeah. So, I look forward to.